Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today I want to do everything I own bathroom edition. So was it last week? Last month sometime, I think later in the month, I did a everything I own wardrobe edition and showed you guys all of the clothes I have. I was going to film my bathroom but it has horrible lighting in there and it's very yellow and it's cramped and I decided to bring my things from my bathroom to this room and film it for you. So I kind of broke it down in between drawers. I have eight drawers and I have an under the sink space in my bathroom and then as well as things that are in my shower. So I've kind of separated into those categories. So first let's start with things in my shower, I suppose. Yeah, we'll start there. So I don't really keep much in my shower. The first item actually isn't even in my shower. The first item I have is this twist towel that you put your head in raw hair and then you twist this and put your hair like that. It's what I use to dry my hair. I don't know, I got this a long time ago and I just still keep it and I use it every single time I wash my hair. So that goes by my shower. In my shower, I have a few things. My shampoo I've been using, I'll show you in a little bit, but that's under the sink right now because I use it to wash my face, I use it to wash my hair, I use it as hand soap. But the three things I keep in my shower at all times, I have half of a razor. It was It's one of those battery powered ones, but I only have the half that has the razor on it. I just took it apart once because it was more convenient to travel with it like this and I've just kept it like this. So that's in my shower. A Veganese uh, conditioner from Lush. I really like it. I think it smells nice. When I ordered this and another product I'll show you but they sent me this. It was bigger when I got it but just this little soap. I think is it sandstone? I'll link products down below that I can but I'm pretty sure this is called sandstone. I absolutely love this and I think I'm gonna get a full bar when I order stuff from Lush next. It's citrusy, I really like it. it has real sand in it, which is good for exfoliating, and it just, it smells, smells so good. It smells, smells, it smells really good. So those are the three things I keep in my shower. If you're looking at my vanity, the top left drawer is kind of my nails drawer. I didn't have nail polish removed for the longest time, but then I would somehow get my nails painted and then I couldn't remove it, so I finally was like, I have to get nail polish remover. And then cotton rounds, got nail files, Oh, I don't like that sound. I've got three just nail files and then this like buffer pad thing that I'm pretty sure my mom got me a long time ago, but I do use it when I just like my nails need a little pick me up. I have two nail polishes, clear one that it's Sally Hansen. And then this is the one that I've been wearing recently and I've gotten a lot of questions about. It is Sally Hansen as well. There's two numbers on there, I don't get that. 131, 200, sheer ecstasy. Two pairs of nail clippers. We have like multiple pairs of nail clippers in our house, I don't know how, I don't know why, but they kind of like float between our bathroom. So I have two in my bathroom right now. I'll give this pair back to Michael. So that is the top drawer. The second drawer down is kind of a random assortment of things. So I have two packages of these like travel size tissues. I keep my heating pad in that drawer. Think about me, there's a fly in here. If you guys know anything about me, you know I love heat, whether it's a heat pad, hot drinks, a warm bath, that sort of stuff for like whenever I don't feel good, I always head towards heat. Sorry, there is a fly in here. Then because summer is getting over and we worked a lot of events, I have two sunscreens because in the summer when we spend an entire day outside in the sun, if you do not put sunscreen on, you will fry. I then have this unlabeled body oil. There's only a little bit left, but I just need to use it up. Baby oil, which there's a story here. It was part of a screen, the screen printing thing, but I have a bunch left. I prefer oils to like cream moisturizers anyways. The third drawer down on the left side is probably the weirdest drawer. There's only two things in there. Candles, tea light candles. If you can't tell, I like candles. Two years ago, I ordered a bunch of ovulation test strips off of Amazon because I wanted to science experiment my menstrual cycle and see if I was ovulating when I thought I was, and I still have a bunch of them. Ovulation test strips and candles in that drawer. And then in the fourth drawer down, I just, that's where I keep my spare towels. Under the sink isn't very exciting, but I, I mean, I suppose I have to show you. I have some Drano. I'm not a huge fan of this. I don't like chemicals, you guys know that. The drains in our bathtubs, especially mine, keeps getting clogged, but it gets to the point where like you're standing in a 
bathtub full of water because it doesn't drain so I have these lights that I bought a long time ago it was before I bought my studio lights and I was trying to make filming lights out of not filming lights and I got these and I can't return them so I've just been waiting something in the house needs a replacement bulb and nothing is broken yet I have this little guy down there it's just like a little water filler thing that came with our diffuser I have a mason jar that is almost empty with baking soda. I use this for an exfoliant on my face. This is the mason jar that I boil my menstrual cup in every month. I've got apple cider vinegar down there, Dr. Bronner's tea tree soap. I have baby powder. I think this started off in Michael's bathroom. I've used it in my hair before as dry shampoo. I used it in my shoes for my triathlon I did a couple weeks ago. Your shoes that you leave in transition you put a bunch of baby powder in it so when you come in with wet feet it helps with like to not get blisters and that sort of stuff. I've got soap nuts under there. I'll use this sometimes to wash my hair. And also I know you can use this as to replace laundry detergent and there's a lot of different uses for soap nuts soap nuts so I keep those. I have a little tissue box full of plastic baggies that end up in our house. I really try to avoid plastic sacks and I get really frustrated when like they end up. <laughs> I get really frustrated and they end up in our house but I'll use these as trash can liners for my bathroom and toilet paper under there as most people do. Two things of because we didn't realize we had one already of the seventh generation uh, laundry detergent. So that is everything that is underneath my sink. Okay on the right side of my drawers I have four drawers and the top one is probably my most used drawer. That's where my like everyday things are. One trick that's really helpful with like organizing things that everyone knows is to get little containers and I use like old tea boxes or tissue boxes. I have this little wood thing and it just has like random bits of jewelry in there and that's just where I keep my jewelry. I have this old case that has floss teeth things to get into my like a little bar that goes behind your teeth that you get after you get braces. My actual retainer that is doesn't really fit me anymore that I need to get fixed. Brow gel from Tarte that I wasn't a big fan of but I want to use it because I spent the money on it and just haven't gotten around to using it. And then a red um lip liner that I'll use as like lipstick and I really like that but I don't really have many occasions to wear red lipstick. I have this Vanilla Co Clean It Zero Purity. It is a cleansing balm and it's free green tea balancing cream. I keep my B12 in there. This is a little travel size like glass container of Dr. Bronner's toner in this one. Sun and part toner and essence in this one. I used up all my Primrose oil which I really like and I think next time I'll get Primrose oil but this is avocado oil in here that I've been using um, as moisturizer. This is like a random box toothbrush. I have this bamboo toothbrush, Tom's toothpaste, Tom's deodorant in here that I never use. I don't wear deodorant. Sunscreen for my face in here, floss, basal body thermometer, hand and body lotion. This box is my makeup. So I have a few things from RMS that I love. Uncover Up in 22 and their Living Luminizer. I also have a sample of their Lip to Cheek 2 chapsticks in here. Pixie by Petra Multi Balm Wild Rose. It's what I use as my blush right now. Not a fan of it. I want to get a big thing of the thing from RMS. I have two mascaras. I'm using Tarte right now, but I still am using up this old Maybelline Lash Discovery. I know you're not supposed to use old mascara, but I don't think this is that old. And I don't op open it that often. I don't know. So I used to use the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Ebony. Right now I'm using the one by e.l.f. It's okay. Um, this is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, but it doesn't do that good of a job of holding up my brows. What does do a good job of holding up my brows? soap you guys soap i have tweezers i have an eyelash curler so that's the top drawer the next drawer down is kind of my random drawer so i have things like aloe vera gel magnesium oil sun and park beauty water which is my toner i just have like a big one but i refill that little container castor oil that i used on i think it was my eyelashes i broke my eyelashes or like pulled them out or something and i read somewhere that castor oil is good for your eyelashes i have some products from the innate life in there a herbal hair mask and a scalp treatment. Three more bamboo toothbrushes. Peppermint essential oil. I think this is perfume from Aveda. I got this I think in high school. It is the lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker perfume. <sighs> got so many memories you guys. I've got three empty Lush containers. Bring back five plain Lush pots and you'll get a face mask. Razor blades. This box is where I keep all of my menstrual cups. I have some of these reusable like cotton pads. That's all the random junk that's in that drawer. So the third drawer down is my hair drawer. 
I have a curling iron in there and a straightener in there. I have two hairsprays. Comb when I feel like brushing my hair. I have this that I use to tease my hair. Package of bobby pins. I got the no drought dry shampoo from Lush and I actually really, really love this. It has like a citrus scent to it. My mom got me this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 501 Styling Treatment. I don't ever style my hair. Sorry, mom. I have a tiny Tresemme travel size hairspray. And then I have the Innate Life Rose Hair Elixir. And then I have this little like glass bowl. And this is where I keep bobby pins and hair ties that are floating around. And then I also have an Aveda Dry Remedy Daily Moisturizing Oil in there. Oils, oils, oils. I have a lot of oils. The Lush Shine So Bright Split End Treatment. So the bottom drawer on the right side is an interesting place as well. I have Q-tips. Travel bag for my like toiletries. And then inside this I have other little bags. One of these hair scratcher things. This one's all like wonky and bent because it was in our bed stand for a long time, but it's so good. One of my favorite things in life is when people like, people scratch my head or play with my hair. I have this little box that has my Clarisonic, which was expensive, it's like $140, but I'm kind of going through a phase of not using it. I have a couple travel size containers. This is the charger for my Clarisonic. And then finally, a box that does not belong in the bathroom. I have old rolls of film, jewelry pliers, a bunch of flags that I want to put on a bag one day, screen protector for my phone, free Burma Now sticker, three photos. So I was in a sorority in college. Kappa Kappa Gamma. And I got this pearl, academic pearl, to put on my key. It's like your little pin. I don't know where my key is. I lost it. But, oh, you guys, I think that's everything I own in my bathroom. It may be a lot. There are still things that I could get rid of. Let me know what you guys want to see for the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.